On the Friday after the election, I woke up knowing that the major communal prayer in the Muslim community is Friday afternoons, thinking to myself, what does it feel like to be Muslim in America today? Since Trump's election, uh, we've been blessed as a community to have a large number of Jewish people standing outside of our Islamic Center's building every day with signs just expressing love, solidarity, compassion, messages of hope. There are those of us who are Jewish, or might be a little different, and those of us who are gay and Jewish want to make sure we're standing out in visible presence. And so I just contacted the other members of our clergy here at CBST, and I said, meet me at the mosque. And on the subway going downtown, I made some primitive signs that just said, Jewish New Yorkers support our Muslim neighbors. So this congregation was founded by a small group of people in February of 1973 who had this radical and crazy idea that they could be both deeply Jewish and openly gay at the same time. In 1973, there was not a single Jewish organization, not a single rabbi, not a single synagogue that stood for the equality of gay people. But we have transformed ourselves as a community and if there is one force in the world that impedes the progress of women or LGBT people, it's right-wing religion. Is there are plenty of forces within the Muslim world which are progressive and moderate on issues of gender and progressive on issues of LGBT, but they're simply drowned out by what are the right-wing elements in their communities. And we have to understand that we as a community have more at stake in being connected to our Christian neighbors who share values and our Muslim neighbors who share values. It's one thing to say that we stand with you, uh, and it's another thing to actually do it. With the world changing in the way that it was changing, and I felt isolated and afraid, and so I wanted to be part of a, a group that I could relate to. We have met with nothing but love and appreciation here. As a group, as a synagogue, we made a decision to be there every Friday and I said we could continue it if we could have one clergy person and three congregants there every Friday. Could we possibly maintain that level of involvement and commitment? And we've had 30 congregants there every single Friday. Take one mosque. You know, figure out what you can do in your neighborhood to make a difference. We can't solve the whole thing, but each of us can do very significant things that make a difference.